what a perfume is as, as a product. Yeah? Like essential oils, aroma chemicals, yeah, the ingredients that go into perfume. I'm going to try and give you one word as a possible answer to what, what is perfume. It's a question you need to keep asking yourself. What is perfume? What are you doing? What it's about? To dig deeper and deeper. Yeah? Because you come across things like there's structure to it, like a building. Yeah? But when I think of perfume, I think of it as a simple word as communication. How many senses do we have? Five. We actually do have a, si a sixth sense yeah, in, our, in our nose called the VNO, uh, the Jacobson's organ, yeah, which detects uh, steroid type chemicals that we like to give the name of pheromones, like attractants. Pheromones are used in perfumes now. Um, Dove, I think, is one of the brands that uses a lot, and unfortunately they use it unpleasantly so. Um, but yeah, but we have, we have that sixth sense, and of course there's common sense, and then there's mystic senses, yeah? But what are our senses for? Why do we develop senses? To survive, yeah. It's about survival. It's about survival. And it's about receiving communication from food to say that it's edible. Yeah. Sounds to tell us that there's something wrong or there's, there's something good. To find a mate. Yeah. So perfume is a method of communicating with those senses. And it's a very powerful way to think of perfume. I'll give you an example. Let's say you were watching TV this morning and you saw a, uh, an advert for Sun Silk shampoo. Yeah? Now, in, in this part of the world, it would generally be for black hair. Yeah? Maybe in Europe, it would be for blonde or auburn hair or something else. But let's take black hair as the example. And what you'll see on that advert is a girl with long, flowing black hair, you know, it sort of glides in the wind, and it's silky and it's smooth. Yeah? And as you watch that, as a female, you'd be saying to yourself, I want hair like that. So you then go to the, the supermarket, and you go along the, the shelves, and you come to this same sh shampoo that you saw on the, the TV, and it'll have the same image or very close image to that that you saw on the TV. And then the words will say silky, sm smooth, black, shiny, sleek. Words that give you the same feeling. Yeah? And the colors will be more or less the same as the, as the, as the TV advert. And then you take that shampoo home, and you get in the shower, and you pour the shampoo into your hand. Yeah? And this shampoo is going to make your hair lovely and black, yeah? Remember this, this is like, this is important. It's going to make it lovely and black and shiny and sleek. And you, you put the bottle down, and all you have now is the liquid to speak to you as same as the TV, same as the advertising, yeah, same as the bottle. What senses does it use? Smell, color, Visual, yeah, and the texture. The only three ways it can really, really speak to you. And so it's a lovely, creamy, sort of pearlescent liquid. And this is gonna make your hair lovely and black, isn't it? and you go to sniff it, and it smells of bananas. <laughs> is there something wrong? <laughs> yeah. So it gives you the different message, yeah? So when, you, when you're doing a product, yeah, whether it's a, a, pe a perfume for the body, whether it's a cream or lotion or, yeah, a foot scrub, yeah, the smell indicates the function of the product. It supports everything else about your image. It doesn't mean it necessarily can't be banana, providing you've used banana as some magic effect yeah, for the hair. Yeah? But it reinforces, yeah? it communicates 
what the product does. And it communicates at a very, very deep level. You don't have to process information in the cerebral cortex when you smell something. It goes straight to the hypothalamus and bang, you feel emotion. Yeah, it brings back memories. So when you're developing products, communication. If you can think about communication, it's a very empowering way to look at perfume um, and how you're creating perfume. What are you communicating? So uh, self-expression, yeah? If you want to express yourself, then no problem. If you want to s express yourself and sell a product, then you have to think about what you're communicating. Yeah? Because a successful product depends on the, the thing that you communicate to the end consumer, to the person that pays the money that buys your product. Yeah? Or if you're not doing it for money, yeah? what message do you send across to the person you gift it to? Yeah? Is, it, is it a positive message? Is it the same message you're trying to tell with your your smell. So I suggest that perfume, what is perfume? I suggest perfume is communication, a method to speak to our senses.